Jari6, welcome back to the channel. So we're going to talk about something that is very controversial here in the YouTube, uh, YouTube land. And it's going to be shotguns versus pistols, guys. Which one is the best one for home defense? Uh, which is going to be the most effective one? So again, I'm going to cover some good things about the shotgun. I'm going to cover some good things about the pistol. Hopefully pass on the information to the basic guy, the new guy trying to pick up a gun to defend his family. Now, if you are very experienced, and you know how to use these guns? Most likely, you're gonna be able to you're gonna be able to use any of this gun. But if you're a new guy trying to get information, uh, hopefully this video is gonna help you out. Now, again, if you're an experienced guy, go down in the comments and put some comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know what's better and all that information. You all, you guys always do great when it comes to comments, and I definitely appreciate that. All right, guys. So let's talk about shotgun first. And I gotta tell you, there's a lot of good things about the shotgun. First of all. This type of rifles or this type of shotguns are very easy to buy. When it comes down to buying a pistol, buying a rifle, uh, especially here in North Carolina, buying a shotgun is extremely easy. Uh, buying a pistol could be easy as well, but again, you're gonna have to have a per uh, permit, a purchase permit, there we go, or a concealed permit, which is gonna cost you more money. So before you even pick up a gun, you gotta spend $100, $150 to get a permit. This is not going to let you do that. This you just pretty much go to a store, at least in North Carolina, different states is different and uh, you could just pick up, uh, pick up a shotgun. Pretty much for the money that you're going to spend getting the permit, uh, you could possibly buy the shotgun and be very, very close in price. Now, I got to tell you guys, this is a very inexpensive shotgun. I have it for over a year and I really like it. Now, I did, I did hook it up a little bit, put a stock uh, side saddle, this crap and I gotta tell you guys I hate the stock I'm probably gonna change it and go back to the way it was I do like the side saddle but this stock sucks this is an HR pump and, and like I say it works really well now I gotta tell you if you're a first time user here's a couple of things that you got going on from the shot uh, from a shotgun uh, it's gonna be the fact that if you hit somebody that person is not gonna stand up uh, shotguns are extremely powerful, so when you start shooting downrange, uh, it's gonna be uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of bullets coming towards the bad guy, and, and it's definitely if you if you connect, you're definitely gonna disable the threat. Now, guys, I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of heat for this, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I would not recommend you to have a shotgun as your first home, you know, defense gun i would definitely not recommend you to do the, have a shotgun and for several reasons now first of all the capacity i want to say this is whole six plus one so again that's seven rounds if you look at a, if you look at a glock 17 has 17 plus one glock 19 15 plus one mmp 45 10 plus one so the fact that you only have 10 you know six plus one in a basic shotgun, five plus one, the capacity is going to be a big deal, especially for that brand new guy that really doesn't have any training. So you have six rounds plus potentially having 18 rounds in a Glock 17. So definitely capacity is going to be uh, a big deal. Now the second and the most important uh, aspect of a shotgun, and this is why I wouldn't recommend it, is because it's difficult to maneuver. Now I know a lot of guys here on YouTube. Uh, play a lot of Call of Duty and they feel like it, they could clear a house but I gotta tell you guys if you find yourself in a situation where you had to clear a house most likely it's gonna be a bad situation you thinking about a bad guy hiding in your house in the dark waiting for you to come out of your room to attack you I mean you are in a bad place and it's gonna be bad now I would recommend you to stay in your room but in a lot of occasions, oh, you know, family guys, we're gonna go and have to go and get our children. So the fact that you're gonna have to leave your room and walk across your house to go and get your kids with a bad guy inside that inside the house is definitely a bad situation, and, and there is a high possibility that you're gonna get hit. So again, this shotgun are extremely difficult to maneuver to a guy that doesn't have any training. You're gonna have a a lone rifle that could be easily grabbed or it's just a lone rifle moving through rooms, moving through doors, being able to move fast and fast and be able to engage a threat with a shotgun is not as easy as a pistol. Now, some of you guys may disagree, but if you have training, if you actually train, you're going to be good to go. But if you don't train, I'm talking about the brand new guy 
that barely does any training or goes shooting once a month or once every two months and, and other, other than the bench, you know, shooting at the bench, actually not doing combat training, that guy maneuvering this, this shotgun through a house, it is going to be difficult. Alright guys, here I got the pistol and I gotta tell you guys, I'm a big fan of the pistol, especially for that first time, first buyer. I gotta tell you guys, first of all, like I said, there's gonna be some legal issues that you're gonna have to deal. Possibly it's gonna be more difficult for you to buy a pistol because the government makes it difficult. You know, they want you to pay pay the government $100, $150 in, 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 in permits because they want to control your rights. But again, that's gonna be a totally different video. But this pistol is excellent. And I recommend people that for the first time are, are trying to defend themselves to get a pistol because a pistol, and this is the biggest issue, guys, is very easy to maneuver. You can move through a house very, very easy with this gun. You don't have to be out here where somebody could grab your pistol or attack you or something. You could be here very close where you have this pistol here at a low profile and you can move extremely fast with a flashlight into your children's room. So you can move very fast. And again, guys, when you have this pistol here really close, and a threat comes out at a very close range, all you have to do is move your body. And if you have that national point of aim with that bad guy, meaning that that bad guy is right in front of you, you could quickly engage and continue, pull out and continue to engage. So that bad guy comes out and bop, and then you continue shooting until you disable that threat. So again, pistols are extremely easy to, uh, well I wouldn't say extremely easy, but they're easier to maneuver than a shotgun. It requires less training when it comes to close combat drills, you know, clearing a house and things like that. They're just a little bit easier than, than a basic shotgun. Definitely guys, like I mentioned, this is gonna have a higher capacity. You know, like MMP 45 here, I got 10 plus one. It's gonna be easier to shoot. It's gonna be extremely easy to shoot. And it's just gonna be easy to, to operate uh, as a family. Again, if you go down and your family had to pick up uh, a pistol, your wife could probably shoot this pistol a little bit better than the shotgun. Very easy. All you have to do if you go down, she all she has to do is squish the trigger or you know, right to slide. Hopefully you, as part of your home defense plan, you teach your wife how to use the gun as well. But typically guys, I think it's my opinion that a pistol is gonna be a little bit easier to shoot than a shotgun when it comes down to your children, your wife, or, or you know, members of your family. All right guys, so like I said, the only downfall that I see with the pistol is they're a little bit more expensive. You're gonna have to spend more money, possibly on a permit. You're also gonna have to spend more money on, on a pistol. Again, shotguns for $200, you could buy a very reliable shotgun. But when it comes to $200 for a pistol, uh, there is, I wouldn't say too many choices out there in the market. Uh, you're probably looking around 350 to 400 bucks, you know, 300 to 400 or something to get a decent pistol to defend yourself. So again, pistols are gonna be more, more costly. You're gonna pay for, for permits, you're gonna pay more for the gun. But again, I think they're a little bit better. The key here, guys, is gonna be to have a gun. Have a firearm to protect yourself. Again, we're talking about shotguns and pistols and I'm just giving you my opinion. I think pistols are a little bit better when it comes to home defense, but scratch that. Take that out of the way. Get a gun. Get some type of firearm. Get a rifle. Get anything that you need to get or anything that you could potentially could get, the best that you could get to defend your family and defend, you know, defend yourself. Because when the bad guys come, guys, <laughs> whatever you have right there for you is what you're gonna use. So make sure whatever you get, make sure you train on it. So again, I like to hear you guys' opinions. Some of you guys are more experienced. Uh, put your comments down below. Everybody, put the comments down below. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Like, share, and subscribe if you like this type of videos. And guys, God is in control.